hard for Falco to come back from that because then it's like he has to win on FD twice. Yeah. And he's not going to win on FD most of the time, so it's like you can't you can't have that twice. You can't just you can't yeah. just do that. If I was very close. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, we got Faya versus Ryan K. So I don't. I'm pretty sure this happens like a good amount of the time. Yeah. This is a pretty like common. This occurrence. is a pretty common like <laughs> NYC thing. Yeah. They're you know, both Faya like being super aggro. Oh I'd say they're God. both probably like in the 15 to 10 range. Uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan's definitely like 10, yeah. and then uh, Fi is definitely yeah, 10 to 15. Because like Ryan, the thing is with Ryan, though. Ryan has really really good wins. Like oh, he's yeah. beating like the Moon DJ. Like he's definitely up he's there. He's beating pretty much everyone in Tri-State besides Tax. Yeah, basically. exactly. He's very he's very very good. Um, but yeah, Fi is amazing too. This could go either way. Yeah. And the thing about Faya is that Faya impresses me with always. There we go. It, oh, it seems like he always picks SD. up something new every week. Yeah, like, he's definitely a creative player. It'll be like a small situational thing, but it'll be that one little tech trick or that one different edge guard that he just picks up week mm -hmm. to week. And so I think, honestly, he's a really fun player to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if I were to go back and watch his like VODs from each NEBS, that would just be really fun to see, just because yeah, he has grown so much as a player. He, he does, he's experienced. He has, like, I don't know how long he's been playing, but I hear he's old school all the time. So, like, both I these heard, players. Like, 2009. 2009. That's, that's pretty old. Yeah. It's like, like all these players enough. with a lot of experience. Yeah. So they're very. They know how to handle every, like, situation, you know? Yeah. Oh, Jesse walking by with the fat stack. The fat stack. I actually make money today. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. I came in, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do so well. And then I actually did for once in my <laughs> life. But anyways, yo, Ryan. Oh, my God. Fire with this ridiculous. time. Covering everything. Yeah. Amazing. He just knew exactly where Ryan was going. And then as soon as he got the up tilt, he had the perfect follow. -up. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, let's see what he's going to do. Some crouch cheating going on. Crouch cheating. Oh my cheating, god. Man. That's right so up there funny. With wave hacking and L botting. There Good edge guard by Ryan. Ryan was actually talking about that. He was talking about. We were just talking about edge hogging for like three minutes. He has this like. Um, I think he get up attacks with Fox. Mm -hmm. And then I think Hacks told him it. But it, it's this get up attack. Where, or not get up attack, but uh, just standard get up. And if you do it at the right time. Even if they don't choose to go to the ledge, you can still cover the ledge. Huh. So you do standard get up, or like get up attack at higher percents or something, and you can like cover everything. Ryan taking this back. Ryan's always really well, not good really at taking it back, but yeah. yeah, but more just bringing it more into his favor. Yeah, more into his favor than it was before, because Faya did have a slight lead. Yeah, but like right as we say that, I mean, Faya does. Faya is kind of handling the, the match right now. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Fi is that he almost plays like, like I don't know if you play like League of Dota or something, but you know he's very much tempo control. Yeah, you know, he, he does control the tempo of the match very well. He's very aggressive. You'll get a few Fox. hits in, but like he'll be aggressive, then he'll be defensive, Ooh. then he'll be aggressive again. My boy he Ryan. just wants you to play, however he wants you to play. Yeah, exactly. And Ryan, sir. Oh, oh yeah. Ryan Ooh, was that been for the dare. Yep. Yeah. Nice get up attack on the ledge. But I mean, like that's kind of one of the dangers of Falco is that you know you you bunch a dare and you're suddenly in a really bad predicament. Yeah, definitely, definitely in a really bad position after that. Yeah. So here we go. Gets a grab. It's a he doesn't capitalize off the grab, but I think right now at this percentage, you know, Fox were able to get an up throw up air on him. It's not looking good. So he's going to be playing a little bit safer than usual. Mm -hmm. Ryan oh. definitely controlling it really well. Wow! Someone walking by with a pair of Yeezys. smash. Shout out that to Yeezys nice right now. Check those. Oof. Oof. I don't see them. Yeezys. Where? Yeezys. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, I see them. Mm. Yeezys all on your sofa. They aren't red Octobers, though. They're yeah. solar reds. Oh, well. Anyways, Still Ryan wins like $3,000. dollars Yeah. I wonder, is this a best of three? No, it's best of five, because it's losers. Okay, um, losers semis. I think it's best of five. I, I'm just wondering because winner semis wasn't, so this might also be a best of three. Yeah. Well, we'll find out after this game. Um, Probably, I, I'd imagine Ryan would ban FD against Fox because, like, yeah. why, why would you ever want to deal with that? So Ryan, I wonder really what well placed lasers there. Yeah. Hmm. So very even right now. Ryan has kind of center stage control. 
Oh wait, now Fi's back. It's just always twisting and turning, going back and forth with these guys. Both of them They're have very, very, very oh, unfortunate. Uh, he probably wasn't making it back anyways. Yeah. Like, you know, but regardless, still unfortunate. So they're very much just focused on neutral this right pressure now. pressure is absurd. Yeah. Fly has always had really good neutral game. So I'm wondering why Ryan is kind of allowing him to kind of set that, like, stylistic. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. What's he going to do? What's he up there? Ooh. Ooh. Good up tail. Okay, so Fi has built himself a sizable one stock difference. Yeah. Ooh, this might stock. be it. Two stocks? Two stock. I mean, he's at 103, but at the same time, like, we're on rock transformation right now. Mm -hmm. He just has to hang down below the pillar, and, you know, what's Ryan gonna do? Yeah. There's nothing Ryan can really do yeah. except shoot lasers, hope he can hit him, you know? So but I see. He's just, they're just hanging out waiting for the transformation end. Yeah. They're not fighting through it like me. <laughs> just kidding. There, there are two types of people. Like, people who play on rock transformation. People and people who, who just, do not. Yeah. <laughs> people who are like, I'm not touching that. Yeah. And, you know, in a high stakes situation, you're not going to want to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh. He misses the, the hard read on the up smash, but he dusted it in a way, like, as soon as he saw that wasn't going to happen, he just lets it go and just rolls away. This counter pick is proving very effective for Fi so far. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> but. Ryan can always bring it back. You never know. You never know. See there? There we go. First stock to Ryan. Yeah. As long as he can start like gaining oh, thanks, control. Jesse. Uh, all right. So Ryan just isn't finding many openings. I mean, like he's getting these except signs. for that. Yeah, that was nice. As soon as I open my mouth, like yeah, commentator screws standard. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice spot dodge. Wow. Led into big damage. Oh, almost the stock. Nice grab. Brian K and his grabs. Like, let oh, me yeah. tell you, he's amazing at grabbing with Falco. Like, better than, like, most people, I would say. Yeah. That was a good nair from Fi, though. Closing out Ryan's third stock. Now Ryan's just got to make this comeback in order to win the set. I think. But also... Fia's advantage, one stock, it's really good, especially as Fox against Falco. Yeah. He doesn't need to aggress as much, but he still is. But you see him standing on it's that platform for a bit. It's not necessarily like a balls to walls aggression. It's just kind of a, I'm in your area, yeah, I'm he's, in your he, space. He's very high what are you pressure. Going to do? His pressure is very good. Yeah. Like, he, he's not super. I mean, he is aggressive, I would say. But not but not like so. Yeah, he's not like lucky, but he's like, you know. It's mostly the pressure that like was yeah, hard for people to handle. Pretty much just suicide drove himself out of Apex. Poor guy. Yeah. So. And also doubles. Nice. See, yeah. Ryan bringing it back down to one v one stock. And especially of course, uh, Fire has the percent advantage yeah. and now stage advantage. But um, oh, but Ryan K going for Gimps. Yeah. I love that the back throw. Um, back throw forward tilt. Oh, yeah. I used to hate it because it would just get me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's very good. See? Look at the look at this. Amazing. Oh, but there Faya we go. But takes game two. Very good. Yo, guys, is this best of three or best of five? Oh, so it is best of five. Okay, yeah, I thought Good. So. I like best of fives more. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see where Ryan goes next. I'm not sure where he's going to go. Huh? Loser semis. semis. Yeah. All right. All right. So we got Battlefield. Classic New York stage. Everyone Classic. goes here. If it were up to us, Battlefield would be the only legal stage. Kind of boring like that. Let's see. So Ryan, I mean, he's opening up with some pretty good combos, and he's definitely set the momentum for the match so far. Yes, it's just he going definitely to be, has. And he's, he's maintaining that momentum. Uh, so now it's just up to see, like, if he can carry that on. Fai is putting on some pressure. What's he going to do? 
Ryan gets a grab again. Unfortunately gets hit by the Fox Illusion and gets killed for it. Sakurai. Sakurai plus. Shout out to Sakurai. Shout out to Hell Laboratories. <laughs> people who actually made good Smash games. Yeah. Shout nice. Making sure he didn't get that little clip onto the stage. I wasn't I wasn't sure if he would get there, but Ryan covered it. Yeah. Good job to him. I mean, like we've been saying pretty much this entire set, Ryan's got godlike edge guards. He just Amazing. knows exactly what to do. Yeah, he really does. Ooh, going for the read. Not necessarily the best idea, but... Okay, let's see, what is he going to do? I mean, he's tossing out some lasers right now. Standing under the platform, yeah. tossing lasers so he can force Fox further away from the center stage so he can get back in there, control, like, a better space. But, um... See. Ooh, that's that a, roll uh, spot dodge ooh, definitely cost him a little. Ooh, bear. Solid Good bear. bear. Yeah. Good bear. Oh! Amazing up tilt. Dash tag. Five missing the text, but not really getting punished for them. Oh! Right. Dirt. Great, great combo. Wow, that angle was amazing. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> That angle just was, it was exactly it, it was, was exactly perfect. what he needed. <laughs> There's so Ryan K going through the pressure. Yo, but get up attack shot? is broken. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, yeah. Kavorkian's been talking all day. Get up attack is broken. Ryan K just killed him with get up attack. I swear. Now you know what get up attack was broken was Falcons in '64. Yeah, that shit was outrageous. '64 was generally broken as a game, but I still love looking it. for that. Ledge get up. Oop. Let's see. Fi just kind of gave him back the stage. But he didn't really do anything with it. Like, he had that stage. Yeah, he, he didn't. And he, he just immediately went to the other side. Yeah. It was like, oh, good idea. I, I saw what he was going for. He was just trying to, like, get him out of the illusion with um, with his dare. Like, a nice, clean dare in the middle of his illusion. Okay. Fi takes the ledge. See? Oh my god. So, I mean, right now, Faya is ahead, but I mean, like, this yeah, is I mean, entirely this. doable for Ryan to take it back. He has advantage right now. If he could just finish the stock, oh. yeah. I mean, still has advantage. Look, and there grab. You go. There's grab. It's a good nice. Oh. His forward, forward smash, smash is always, like, he times them so well that he could cover, like, space he's trying to, like, get the, uh, the sweet spot. He was doing that to me and my friendlies before I played, um, before I played Zero. He was just like, his, it was the uh, Falcon and he just kept doing it. It was amazing. So Ryan Cole for the quick kill. Oh my god, he keeps getting hit. His fox is broken. <laughs> he keeps getting hit by that. Oh. oh. Good no DI. Smash. Almost right. survived, but So now definitely. we're at set point for fire, and mm -hmm. I'm wondering where Ryan's going to take him. Does he go back to Battlefield? Does because he he's doing really well. He was doing he was doing fine. Oh, the Fox Ditto. Ryan's Fox is very good. So I want to sleep for a second. Ryan repping that showing Fox color right now. There we go. Let's grab. Wow. Five is doing a bit of work. But, uh, I mean, Ryan, Ryan, is, Ryan is getting grabs and he's finding openings. He's just, he's, he's not punishing enough. Yeah. Like, Fi is definitely punishing a little more, which is, like, helping, obviously, a lot. They get, like, roughly an equal amount of openings, and it's like, whoever punishes better, that's just who's going to win. Ryan facing the wrong way with the lasers. That up smash wouldn't have killed even if it hit, so I don't I don't know why he was trying to do that. I would have went for like a down tilt personally. <laughs> no, but it, there, are there are definitely better ideas there. Uh, nice. There we go. Ryan does take the first stock despite being down for relatively most yep. of that. He caught up stock. pretty fast. So let's see, what is he gonna do? Yeah, he's just searching for grabs. And that's it. Go gets grabbed, but like he doesn't capitalize off. Him. That's the thing. I mean, at low percents, it's also harder for Fox yeah. to capitalize. Oh, no. 
go. Get ooh, some shine. try to get the sweet spot. Ooh. Up tilt. Ooh. That was a nice up tilt. That's a nice little string. And what's he gonna do? There we go, Edge Hog from, uh, from Fine. Let's see what he's gonna do now. Oh, good up smash from Ryan Very, K. very Roll nice DI there. from uh, Fi though. Oh yeah. Now Fi could get big damage, but he doesn't. So my commentary isn't that great, <laughs> but um, because I just I just watch and I zone out sometimes, but um. Yeah, just trying to like talk about the match at the same time. Ooh, down smash should have went for the up smash. Yeah. If I had 150, definitely, definitely gonna kill anywhere on the stage oh, yeah. right now. Both of these guys are basically like, they're hesitating right now. They're yeah. definitely hesitating more than they were before. Because this is set point for Faya, so he's probably like, I want this, I want to win. Yeah. But um, which at the same time is like a balance of you want to get it over with, but at the same time, yeah. even though you know you have a game of wiggle room. You don't want to go to game five. Yeah, you don't want to go to game five. No you want one to close really it out. wants to go to game five. You always want to close it out. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, it's a shine. Get him. This is broken. Up and right now, Ryan's having is struggling really, really hard with this kill. And yeah. Fia, every percent Fia gives, it's just like worse and worse situation for Ryan. Um. Yeah. And I mean, he's there just, we go. There. All right. Didn't even go for the up air, just yeah. in case he smashed you. I'd just like get him out of here with this bear. Makes sense. <coughs> up throw a bear is really good. But anyways, yeah. Ryan down in percent, but he could bring it back pretty. F uh, I, mean, I don't like, think he was expecting that forward yeah. smash because the di wasn't particularly good. But um, I mean, like in theory, Ooh. he can still bring this back. And I mean, we see right yeah. there he gets exactly. Nice I mean, it, it's obviously it could go either way. But, it's um, just going. He's going to be relying on. Ooh. My thing is, if he that's wins, that's interesting it's, that it didn't hit. Yeah. I was I was surprised that didn't hit. If he wins, it's not Weird. so much going to be that he's playing well. It's that Faya plays badly for these next two stocks. In no, it opinion. could go really either way. But there we go. There we go. Faya takes the set. Faya takes the set three one. Crazy. That was really well played.